Hello, I'm William Gallagher. This is 58 Keys, a whole series about how, as writers, you and I can get so much more out of this expensive Apple gear that we've bought. This time, actually, I do very particularly mean you and I, because I want to show you something that I do a lot and that helps me in my writing, but I, th I have a feeling you might know something different, and I'd be grateful for any help you can give me. It's all about transcribing interviews. You've gone to interview somebody and now you've got to write up every word they said. I tell you, I don't care how interesting they were, transcribing is a slog. It's a slog because you've got to get it right. If you're doing non-fiction and you're quoting them, you've got to get the quotes right. Of course you do. If you're doing fiction, if this is like background briefing on something, you've just got a little while with an expert on your topic. Every word they tell you is going to help you in some way. You need to get it down. It's just that this is generally now forget. It's guaranteed that it will take you three times longer to transcribe an interview than it did to do the interview itself. And I think that's being pretty generous. I've transcribed hundreds of interviews over the years. I now have a system for doing it that is a bit quicker, is a bit better, and I actually I find it handier in, in a lot of ways that you'll see in a moment. But before you can transcribe an interview, you have to have an interview. Here's how you get an interview with somebody. You ask. It is amazing to me how generous people are with their time. It's just people are great. They really are. Only thing is, you won't get them twice, not with the same topic, not with the same questions anyway. So you get your shot, you get one shot, prepare for it well, record it well. I can't help you with the prep, but before we talk about transcription, I can help you with the recording. Let me show you a couple of things. This is one I use a lot. This is quite a new uh, piece. It's called a Roland R07 and it's really meant to record for broadcast quality. There's lots of controls and options and so many menu settings that are all really to do with recording music as well as voice. And I don't tend to use any of those at all. What I do use it for is uh, recording interviews really that uh, I could use as broadcast, but I just want to be able to hear them well when I'm uh, transcribing back. And the thing I particularly like about this model is, I don't know how clearly you can see it on this, but uh, these microphones at the end, you have stereo microphones and they ever so slightly tilt up. So you can place that in front of your guest and just record away. Uh, also, in the same sense, you, know, you don't want to overcrowd uh, a guest. You don't want to be pouring at the controls, checking it. You want to set it and know that it's running. And this has the advantage that it actually comes with a remote control for your iPhone. Let me turn that out of the way because I also use this a little bit smaller let's just put them in for comparison you can see it's, it's pretty much the same size really isn't it but this one uh it doesn't have the, such a pronounced tilt on the microphones it does have the ability to add an external microphone actually so does the other one uh it's just it's so light and quick and simple um there's one big record button once you switch it on press record it's going but then there's also this actually let me go back to this one for a second uh once you've got something recorded on here there's a micro usb socket on here you connect a cable into that other end into your computer or your tablet whatever will take it and then you take the audio off whereas with this this is possibly my favorite thing ever just turn this over and you see this little control it's a flick usb recorder so you connect that straight in to whatever you're using I like that so much um, it's always the first recorder I will use when I get back uh, from a, a job I will plug that straight into the computer just so I can hear did it everything record have I got what I want to one more thing about recorders I mean, I'll tell you why we're outside in a second but first I just want to say about those two I don't think they're expensive because of what they do and how useful they are to you. But they're not casual purchases either. So not only can you, but I do, just use my iPhone. The thing with the iPhone is, as good as the recorder in it is, the microphone isn't. Uh, so do you care when you're just recording an interview for research purposes? Well, maybe, because if it's broadcast quality, you can hear it better. I also just like broadcast quality because I like broadcast quality. But one thing, if you do just stick with your iPhone, you might want to spend your money next on, rather than a separate recorder, 
one of these stereo broadcast quality microphones lightning connected to plug into your phone and the reason we're outside is this unlike those other two recorders with this one I got this a windbreak I actually found it incredibly hard to fit on and it just blew away a moment ago but it's really good for letting you record outside like this so you've used that flick USB, you've connected a cable, you've done whatever you do to get the audio off the recorder, off your iPhone, onto your Mac, and then you've got to type it all up. Here's how I do that. I use an application for the Mac called Transcriptions. It's, uh, it's about a couple of pounds on the App Store. And all it is really is a word processor that lets you add audio at the same time easier to show you than to talk about it. Let me show you this. So blank document. Uh, over here is an area for the audio. I would really like it if you could just drag the audio clip in, but you can't. You do. You add it this way. Click here. But there it is. There's some audio in there and there are some playback controls with it. I mean, you can click on the screen to do it, but uh, instead do this. Look at these preferences instead. Here's where you can set up uh, some keyboard shortcuts. Now these have actually become, the ones I've got have become so second nature to me, I have to stop to think what they are. But if I hold down the command key and the uh, square back arrow, I'll leap the audio back 10 seconds. So you're typing away, what was the word they just said? Tap and you go back. Uh, you're typing away and they're just ahead of you, tap and you go back. And then every now and again I'll tap back a few times and re-listen to the paragraph just to make sure that I've got it. And that's how I get through multiple thousands of words of interviews. But also look at the screen and what happens if I just decide to create a paragraph. Transcriptions adds in a, a, a time code where through the recording you are when that happens. Now sometimes if I'm in a gigantic hurry, I'm writing a feature and someone's waiting for it, I will listen to the whole interview without transcribing but I will make notes along the way hit return at the right point and now I know where in the audio to leap to. It's nowhere near as good as actually going through every single word, but it does help you get through there quickly. The thing with transcriptions is that as handy as I've found it and as much as much as I've used it, I only found it originally completely by accident. And now that I've looked into it so I could talk to you about it, I found that it hasn't been updated for the Mac in about three years. So surely there's something else out there. It'll work in pretty much the same way. So what you've just seen will hopefully be as useful to you as it has been to me. But if you know of another app, another system for it, would you let me know in the comments below? Thanks. That's it for 58 keys and interviewing, recording and transcribing on your Mac and a little bit on iOS. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Uh, do subscribe, please, because there is so much more you and I have to talk about. See you soon. One more thing. I don't know what sort of writing you do, but I do know that you're not writing enough, are you? I might be able to help you with that, though. Go to 58keys.com and look for the writer's mailing list or just click on the link below. I can help you out with getting started and with keeping going.